<laughs> Hated all of them. And what's his face? Hines. Unbelievable, man. Am I bringing back bad memories? I'm trying not to even. I, I can't even remember any part of the season. It's been so long. Which is why, you know, look, I, I'm excited for, Hayes. you know, hockey. I said Hines. By the way, I said Hines. I'm sorry, I said Haynes. Let me have another sip of my drink here, Holmes. <laughs> look, I'm excited for the season to start again, but I do have, I don't know. Like, whoever wins this thing, I, I do. I feel like almost you got to put an asterisk next to it. Yeah. And I know this is going to take a whole new sort of conversation into it, but I. I, I think it'll be and, – and look, it's going to be a grueling run. you still got to go through the same playoff atmosphere. It just – it's I don't know. It just has a weird feel to it. And, you know, any momentum like you had mentioned that, you know, the Flyers had, the Rangers had, is just gone. So it's, it's just – I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have a hard time looking at – if they are able to get this, this done and, and, a, and an eventual Stanley Cup champ for me to look at them – that way, and and uh, I, uh, I don't know what to say. I, I hate to be a Debbie Downer on it. I've been that way with. We're not going to start the season, and if we do, now the Stanley Cup champ is bogus. And the, should, the they, only... should they give special COVID nineteen awards after this tournament? <laughs> I told I I said it a couple of podcasts ago. They shouldn't even give a stamp. They should have just call it the COVID nineteen tournament and have like a special like have like the trophy be. Like, you know, the close-up they have of the COVID virus, like that ball thing, that should be like the trophy. Well, I guess right now, especially for you, I guess we'll just be happy (laughs) if we get this exhibition game in with with the Islanders. (laughs) Yeah, I'm excited for that. I hope we at least get that. That might be the only game we get in, right? (laughs) I tell you what, uh, any type of game against the Islanders, I think, would hold me over until next season. Like, just get me that. Just get to that point. Get that game over with. I don't care if both teams end up completely infected afterward. As long as I have that game and I just have it in my head. July 29th, baby. <laughs> Social Bank. Tonight's starting lineup. All seven. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fun, right? We're playing the Islanders. It's going to be great, right? Now, I got a question. Um, do you think... Does, does Quinn play everybody? I mean, what do they do there? Just give everybody a shot. Goalie gets a period. You got to run everybody, right? First, it'll be the first non, you know, same team game that they've played now and four. It'll be almost five months by the time they get in the ice. Do, do you run everybody? Yeah, I mean, I think you play it like an exhibition game. Yeah, I think you want to get everybody a, a feel of the game. Um, yeah, get your goalie. You know, all 10 of our goalies out there, yes. um, even though Shishjorkin is, is obviously going to be the starter. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I would make sure everyone gets, uh, you know, a, a run out there. You know, Shishjorkin and, and Lundqvist, because obviously there's no way Georgiev is ever getting in one of these games. <sighs> that hurts. Uh, <laughs> that really so, hurts. yeah, no, I don't, I don't think that they need to go all out in this game and have – the set lineup and, and run the line. I think it's more of just getting back into in a game, get a feel of it so they're ready to go once uh, the puck drops on the real sort of play-in but game does, against the does Hurricanes. Does that make sense? I mean, they're playing, you know, what, one, two, two, two days later. The, the, the whole thing starts, man. This is your first chance you're going to get to see these guys. you got to run everybody, run them hard. Take numbers. You want to take out as many islands as you can, too, right? <laughs> you want to cause as much damage in this exhibition game as you possibly can and get out of there in one piece, obviously, and and see everybody just lay it on the line because game one is, is two days later. And and you, you wanna you wanna hurt the islanders, right? This I mean, be, I'm this never is, this this is gonna be the most this has to be the most epic, high energy through the wall, crush the Islanders exhibition game we've ever seen in the history of the teams. I mean, I'm never against taking out Islander players. I mean, I'm always for that. Um, but you nothing know, knowing, career ending. Nothing career ending. Maybe just a mild concussion. Knowing our team and our luck with the Rangers, I mean, we had car accidents this year. We had you know Kreider breaking his foot the day after he signs a long term deal. 
you know, I assume if the Rangers go all out, someone's getting, you know, Panarin's going to like blow out his knee or oh. something. So um, I, I say, you know, get him a couple of uh, turns around the ice. And, and, you know, I, I wouldn't get crazy. Get a good feel of it and, and know what you're doing. You know, play Shesterk in half the game, play Lundqvist the other half and, and get out of there and get See, ready I, for, yeah, for I Carolina. Totally, I totally disagree. Like if I was in that lineup, man, and I because I, I could get sick. I'm going to go out. <laughs> <laughs> my, 20, my 2020 season, I am making a statement in that game on the 29th, and I am going to try and score seven goals, have 36 hits, 45 block shots, take some penalties, roughing anything I can, yell at the refs, the coaches, cause as much trouble as possible in that one game. Go for it. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> Handsome brothers, let's go tear it up on the 29th. Do it. <laughs> yeah, no. Come yeah, I don't on, think like KD. I don't think I don't think <laughs> Jesper Faust, who's going to be like a free agent at the end of the year, is going to be like killing himself in a, in a preseason game that may ultimately but, lead but to but nothing. Think of the headline: <laughs> Jesper Faust goes nuts <laughs> exhibition game. Scores, Blow, scores four goals, has eight assists. <laughs> <laughs> and, Andrew injures himself, and nobody wants to touch him during free agent period. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no man. thanks. I want carnage. I want I want these guys <laughs> to just go for it, man. Oh, man. We'll see, though. It'll be fun. Are you scared? Scared of the Islanders at all? In an exhibition game? No. <laughs> well, just in, just in general. Oh, in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, no, have, they, you been, have you been no. scouting their camp at all? These last couple yeah. Of days, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a bunch of like uh, third and fourth line players um, with Barzell. That's about it. <laughs> okay, and they're gonna take um... Barzell and third and fourth line players, <laughs> and they'll take out uh, the Panthers, right? No problem. Uh, I, mean, the, I mean, the Panthers are gonna take the Owls out. I, I apologize. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our, our guy uh, Yandel is gonna like put up a hat trick, uh, a game over there. You know. All right. Because all all, all ex-rangers, all all ex rangers, they all do well when they leave us. Whether it's coaches, i.e., Av and uh, Torch, Jack Adams uh, candidates here, and then uh, Yandel, he's just going to tear it up in the playoffs because he didn't do that for us when <laughs> we were in the playoffs. So close your eyes for a minute, KD. <laughs> New Jersey Devils win the Stanley Cup championship in in like three years, and Lindy Ruff hoists that thing over his head. Oh, I, I would put money on that right now. <laughs> <laughs> what a vision. Congrats to Coach Lindy. Good luck. Yeah, because – and, and it will be even worse because we all wanted Kako over Hughes, and Hughes is going to be putting up like 50 goals a year. He's going <laughs> to – yeah. Well, I agree with that, you know, as far as where uh, Capo and me stand, you know. Hey, but you, you hear Capo uh, apparently in camp is looking leaner. He's looking meaner. I, I think he he's been listening to and the he podcast. He looked that way and, in the juniors, and he looked that he, way in Finland. But when he came he, to New York, nah, nothing. He went he went home. He looked himself in the mirror and said, "I'm going to show that Paulie guy he, that I can play this game." So he he's come back. I think with a little something to prove here. You know, if they let him play, because he hope, does I have. He, I you hope know, he has a picture of me in his locker. With or without clothes on? Just point. No, just point. <laughs> oh, the inspiration these guys need. Anyway, um, yeah, no, good reports on, on these guys. I mean, it, from from what we're seeing in the the videos, reports, and from the beat writers and everything, the guys are all looking good. Quinn's fired up. You know, this isn't a training camp. He says, you know, he's serious. Yeah, I, I mean, I like that mindset. I mean, I, I don't know why he would want to change, you know, what the lineups look like, especially with how the Rangers were playing. I don't th- – if they're going in this thing to win it, which I don't know why they, they wouldn't unless they, they're taking my advice and, and, you know, they decide to just go for the number one pick um, and, and uh, tank on purpose uh, for the number one pick. I mean, they're going in there to win it. And this team has – you know, when you're looking at, you know, guys like Panarin – and Fox had a great year, and Truba, and and Kako's going to come back and just kill it. Um, you know, this team has as much talent as as anybody else in the league, and can go on a run, especially with the goaltending. So, you know, 
and again, they were hot with, with the lineup that they had, and now you get Kreider back, who who they weren't going to have in at the end of March and into April during the the stretch run there. So you know, I like the mindset. It's not time to well, let's give Craps off a look and let's bring Hayek back up and and maybe give him a chance again. No. You know, it's it's going to be the the defense that you saw that was playing better at the end of the year. I mean, probably see Brendan Smith on on defense again. Um, you know, he played okay, but better than he did as like a left wing. Uh, so uh, get used to what you saw. Or look, go back and watch the tape back from March. That's the lineup. This is what it's going to be. It was a winning lineup, and uh, let's go. The only guy who's not going to be there is, I guess, Lemieux. I don't. I don't think they've even discussed what his suspension is going to be yet. So he most likely won't be in there, at least for one game. Um, but, you know, we got my man Greg McKegg, uh, who will step in admirably like he always does. Can always count on him. And uh, let's go. Very positive. See, you're confusing me, man. You know, you're a little negative in the beginning of the show. And, <laughs> and, and now you're, well, look, I mean, now you're all fired gonna, up. If, if, if I, I have to, like, almost – look at it too. I got to throw like the coronavirus out because, because if I continue looking at it the way that I am, that I don't think it's going to happen. I could just sit here and tell you like, Paulie, I don't even want to talk about, you know, what's going on with this, with this team. But you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to talk Rangers. What, what are we doing here? This is why we're here. Let's talk Rangers. So, you know, I could, I'm, I'm putting it aside. And I want to talk about the lineup because that's why we started this podcast. <laughs> and I want to talk about, you know, what they're doing in camp and who's looking good and who's not. Um, and and Capococco is, is looking fantastic. Chess Jerkin is getting a stranglehold on the number one spot, uh, you know, for this play-in game. Um, and, and I'm excited. And Condre Miller practicing with the team. The kid is a monster out there. Not that I didn't know that, but just even seeing him out there with just, you know, the pro players, I, 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 a kid is towering over all of them out there, which is fun. He's been out there with Fox. So now my mind's going crazy thinking about that pairing for the next, you know, six, seven, eight years, you know, just dominating um, in the NHL. So, like I said, as much as I don't think this season is happening, I, I am excited just to be talking hockey, to be talking lines, to be talking, um, you know, these young kids again and, and the future of this team. Um, because at some point, you know, knock on wood, you know, we will get back to some type of normalcy and, you know, hockey seasons will begin again, the NFL and this and that, and whether that's next year or whenever. But um, this is fun to talk about this. You know, we got our sort of coronavirus rant out of the way early. So let's talk about the team now. I'm with you, buddy. I'm pumped. You know, I'm 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 excited. Like I, more than anything, like I said just before, it was just great to see just the the range. You know, not yeah, the range of community, obviously, but just hockey community in general. You know, I mean, obviously, me and you do a lot of our networking and surfing and and fun and stuff and interactions with fans is on Twitter. So it's just been kind of great to see that kind of come back. I I haven't really looked into any of the other teams. Uh, what's going on and be honest with you like I said just kind of you know it's 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 happening so fast you know with Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and, and just really just trying to you know um you know get, get as much you know take in as much of the clips as you possibly can and and get some feedback from say Brooksy and Carp and uh, Stevenson and all the guys that are covering the team and everything and it's just great to see those guys you know uh tweeting out reports and how guys are playing and everything and yeah I mean seeing a guy like Cal- Calandre Miller in there is just fantastic because Again, this is something that, um, you know, with me and you coming back and, and talking Rangers again uh, after a, a long time off. And it's funny, I, I just saw the uh, the one-year renewal for uh, GoRangersRadio.com come in today. And I was just kind of laughing. You know, here it is July, you know, and that's when me and you talked. La- this time last year, me and you were just basically, I think I sent you a DM. I said, hey, buddy, mm-hmm. so you want to you do a podcast? You want to, you know, get back in the into, you know, talking hockey again because me and you have both kind of stepped out of the scene for such a long time. And here we are a year later, and and, and we just had so much fun this year with this team and getting to, you know, March 12th or whatever it was, the, the last night against Colorado and, and, and all the stuff that we were talking about. Um, we, we pretty much, in, in every show, 
with regards to wh- whatever the gameplay that week was, a lot of the fun things about talking about this organization right now, 